Hi, welcome, 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 welcome. This is gonna be for my Aries, my Ramskis. Okay, so it's gonna be for January 2020. This deck I have in my hand. This is your over your overview card for the month. Okay, kind of what's going on in your head, what's going down, and then this is gonna be for the first half of January 2020. Okay, now. In a majority of all my zodiacs, um, the masculine keeps coming in um, as as Aries fire. So everyone should be watching this one. Let's take a sip of coffee. So let's get the overall energy for my Aries. January 2020. Are we recording? Okay. Aries 2020. Okay. You got two. You got a new beginning. Okay. Starting a new life. Finding your purpose in a situation, forgiving, being compassionate, reviewing your past, and you got the Queen of Michael. Fire had a woman too. So you definitely probably should watch Leo. Okay. Um, it's like knowing exactly what to do in some type of situation, or you or you're gonna know what to do. You're going to have a, a family, start a family, a blended family, or this is something you've done in a past life. A second chance. Or this is saying your family will forgive you. Something happened when you were younger. Oh, this is deep. Um, someone else had this in the beginning, but it didn't have this type of depth. You could be starting a family. For some of you, it's, it's fresh or it's a blended family. For others of you, this is you thinking about your family or the family before. I could have sworn I just looked over and saw 1616, but it actually says 1010. But there was a reading I did that I believe was 1616, and I read it. And... It was just one of, I'm trying to look, I don't see it. It was, it was one of you guys, um, and it was just today. If you're worried about material matters or concerns, stop. Because it didn't show up in that either. So somebody's worried about the money. Material concern. I mean, this is about your future, so I get it, right? But something needs to be adjusting, repairing. There's a situation that needs to be, be repaired. Whatever this past is, they're going to forgive you. Or you're going to forgive them. There might be unresolved debt. Or like there's there's something a purchase something of value but it is it's almost like you don't want to put money into it right now. The universe is like, hey, be a little more receptive. Okay, so that's that's definitely a message for someone. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Pence, right? So it's like, damn, you're wicked mental about something. But there's a lot to be accomplished. It's, it's going to take time. If you're worried about money, more's more's going to grow. You're going to grow a God in the money. You just got to plant those seeds the right way. Okay? So let's get into your reading. 
you could um, be in a partnership with an air sign right now or you're about to be in a new partnership with an air sign but I think this is the one that needs forgiveness I don't know what that's regarding <laughs> I see the skinny popcorn in the garbage bin I don't know what that's regarding but it, it was so prominent when I, when I saw it in the camera so I don't I don't know what that's regarding I don't want to focus on that one so let's see what Gotta, oh, see, you're in tight quarters. I don't know what this is regarding. Let me back you up this way. Okay. So, Aries. Look up your own 1616. And please write down which other zodiac had the 1616. I'd appreciate it. And so wouldn't everybody else that's watching. Okay. So this is the first half of January. You got the four acorn. To me, there's some type of comfort or you having to leave some type of comfort. Or you didn't take it when it was available. To me, it's, you're questioning your comfort zone. There's got to be some type of opportunity somewhere. And then you got the chariot. So yeah, you're questioning whether or not to move forward or or you will. Whether it's a question right now or, or, or what, but it's saying you're going to in the next two weeks. You are going to focus on what needs to be focused on and go after what it is you want. Because there's is there's a new beginning. There's a, a start of a, a brand new life here. And that's an 11 together. I believe somebody else had the chariot with the four of something up here. I don't know. To be honest with you, it could have been in the same 1616 video. And it was, it's not the video itself that was 16 minutes and 16 second length. It was that that came, that 1616 came in. And like I said, I looked over and it was, it was 1010. And what I thought I saw was 1616. So I'm not really sure what that's regarding. Huh? Yeah, in the Aries, first half of January 2020. Whatever seeds were planted, whether you're aware of it or not, is coming into fruition. You got the Ten of Pence, stability. You're going to obtain something as you move forward. It, it could be money. I don't know why you're worried about money, but you're going to be stable. You're going right towards stability. It might take a little time because it's the Knight of Pents. And whatever this is, you're being guided to leave a comfort zone and to, and to move forward. And you're going towards something reliable, stable. I, I think you're questioning that. If I leave this situation, you know, um, what does my future hold? But whatever your, if it's material matters, they're saying to let it go. Easier said than done, right? But... It, it, the bank will be refilled, is what it's saying. 
So you could be dealing with a high priestess. This is somebody who has sacred knowledge. This is somebody who uses their intuition. Or this person just knows to leave their comfort zone, to move forward. They know. If somebody knows something. They don't know how they know because it's, it's sacred. They just know. They just do. And look at that at the bottom of the deck, the star. See, they don't, the moon, they don't know how they know, they just know. It's a peacemaker. <sighs> Very shamanistic energy. Um, tell me about the four acorn. Um, I, I don't know if I said that was the four pence, it's the four wands. But it's, it's leaving some type of comfort zone. Okay. Or moving forward with some type of comfort zone. This is the Queen of Acorns. She came in with the Leo read. So I don't know if you're considering living or being with the Queen of Wands type energy. This is somebody who gives comfort. She might have a YouTube channel with the community here. Or she's she's just good with the community. She might be on the PTA. She might... It might be something within your community. You might have your eye on someone. Um, you might have a family. You, you ran into this person at a school event. It, it, it's, it's something like that. Because um, it, it's telling me community strong. And it is about household, neighborhood, right? It's the four of wands, marriage, moving in together. It, it's comfort zone. Somebody has to leave their comfort zone, though. In order to have a new beginning. You might want to watch Leo. So I don't know, you're going to have a new beginning with this one, and this one has a future. A queen of wands, you and a queen of wands, or you and a, a, a king of wands, and an Aries, whatever. You, you have a future here. But you have to leave something. Yeah, you're already comfortable in the situation. Yeah, you definitely need to watch. Leo, there's definitely a link. There's a link with every zodiac, okay? Um, but a very familiar scenario. And and also, Leo for sure, because I just did it. But whomever that 1616 is, it could be Aquarius or Gemini. <coughs> Tell me about this chariot. So this is you moving forward. Or you're watching a Sag move forward, whatever that's regarding. Or you need to be in this Sag energy and move, and move forward. Tell me about the chariot. But this, some of you are actually moving with the four wands and the chariot to a new foundation. And it, it's something spirit picked. I don't know what that's regarding. Could have some type of sacred land. You get the Six of Cups, yeah. You need to make a choice. Either w with a Cancer or a Sag or Libra type energy. Or this is just trusting the journey and moving forward. Tell me about the Ten of Pence. This talks about stability. Um, you're definitely in your own energy, which I think is, is great, considering you've been coming in like this. So it, it's, it gives everybody a little insight on, you know, what's actually going down with this masculine, too many, masculine um, energy that keeps coming into all our reads. And, and feminine is a core couple. you got a future with someone. Choices all, all around, I can see it. Yeah, look at that. So I was just going to say, choices all around. And two cards of choice, and it looks like it happens to be in love. But it's the Seven of Cups with the, the Ten of Pence. So there's, there's options here. There's You're holding on to money. You're trying to control the situation. You're trying to control your money. Because it's, it's your security. So there is something money. What money you you guys? <clears throat> 
So you're trying to review your options. Where am I best stable? How do I get the stability? Spirits, you know, they're really saying, you know, this is this is a bump in the road. Don't don't allow this to to hinder. Okay. Um, talk about whatever's going down too. You're definitely trying to control um, a situation, but sometimes you know you gotta take chances in life and um, make ambitious choices. It, it, you might be more of a practical person coming in as as fire, you know. Um, but those seeds are about to sprout. Everything that you ever wanted. Something about your piggy bank being refilled. Will it take a little time? Yeah. Could it just be a cycle? Maybe. Money doesn't grow on trees, but you can sure make it grow. So you definitely have a choice to make. And, and to me, it's like, are you choosing money or are you choosing love? Because right now you're trying to control some type of foundation. It's like you don't want to make a choice, but you are. You are going to move forward. The, you, whatever this new beginning is, it's, it's too heavily on your mind. I, I don't know if you're strategizing. Tell me about the high priestess. I, I don't think you're trying to hide money. I hope not. That's never a good thing. But you are worried about security. You are changing your perspective when it comes to some type of... You're either dealing with a high priestess or Pisces. Um, something's going to require patience or you need patience for something to grow. But this is your perspective. I, it looks like you're changing your perspective on... Some type of spiritual route. You do got love at the bottom of the deck. And you do have the ace of acorns. So it, it's like reaching out communication. You do have a fool. Which is you know a, a brand new start. A brand new journey. A brand new path. That has a lot of potential. Exciting adventure. It's, it's, it's passion. You know. Um, passion to me is, is just. The number one feeling, the ultimate feeling to to have it, to, to go after it. You already have it or you had it. You know what I mean? Like, if it's gone, you're getting it back. Don't, don't let passion go. Okay? Don't let passion go. So, that is your reading. I hope it helped. You do have a new start. It, it is a risk. Like I said, it, it, you, you're trying to control something, but um, I did say something about taking a risk, taking a chance, you know. So ultimately, it's it's on you, on, on what you choose to pursue. But it looks like if you want it, you can have it. I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye.